So I'm here with the chief engineer of GR Corolla, Naoyuki Sakamoto. So there's been a lot of changes for this mid-cycle refresh, more than I see in a lot of cars. First off, we've got this new automatic transmission. Yeah. How long was the development cycle behind this? Uh, actually, so the, that transmission was uh, development at first for the GR Realis. So after releasing the GR Realis, we implemented that transmission to the uh, Japan Rally Championship GR Realis car and also Super Taikyu series. Then uh, Toyota's chairman, Akio Toyota, aka Morizo, himself driving the car, then uh, developed the transmission to be the kind of sporty transmission. Is it different than the Yaris or is it very similar and you just adapted it for the... Basically, model? the transmission itself is the same, but tuned for the fitting to the GR Corolla. But uh, based on the uh, kind of modification point from the Toyota's 880, so at first, to fit to the sports model, we change the gear ratio, more close gear ratio, then of course, we need to make the shift speed faster for the competitive, to be competitive. So Morizo requested us a lot about that. <laughs> so we changed the electronic solenoid more responsive. And also friction material for shifting, shift changing more durable. That three point is the main modification point from the other 880. In your, uh, your press materials, you have a, a chart where you're showing mm. the shifting speed mm. as about 300 milliseconds yeah, yeah. and comparable to, yeah. to DCTs. Yeah. So why, why choose an automatic over a DCT? So we have a long history working on the automatic transmission, which has a torque converter. So we want to make it more sporty. Maybe there are so not difference between DCT and the AT, just releasing clutch, grabbing a clutch. So we are challenged, kind of com compete with the DCT to make it better transmission. So we know both are pros and cons, but we choose automatic transmission. Also, we are improving the shift schedule. Even you are driving on the D range mode, not using a paddle, the shift timing is always light timing for the sports driving. So when we joined the Super Taiki series driven by Master Morizo, so he drove the car not using a paddle, just a D range mode. He requested us to be better than professional driver's shift operation. That is the one big point for the, this GRDAT. When you're on track, when I'm mm. driving around a corner mm. and I'm coming up to um, the corner entry, mm. how does the car know that I'm getting up to a corner and mm. I want a downshift? How does it know that? The issue is many signals, but basically deceleration G, vehicle speed, and driver's input, like a brake pedal or axle pedal or something like that. If I'm, let's say, just light braking, mm versus more pedal pressure, yeah. will higher pedal pressures tell the car to downshift? Yes, yes. So in case of the higher brake pressure detected, driver want to decelerate quickly, then after that, maybe have a need to have a strong acceleration. So downshift point is more kind of earlier. When you're in the city mm -hmm. versus just uh, on track, is mm -hmm. the shift speed different? Is it shift softer in the city or is it kind of the same? Uh, same, but uh, different in between the normal mode and the sport mode. Sport mode is more quicker. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, if you activate the launch mode, upshift is much quicker. There are three different drive modes now, mm -hmm. and you had three drive modes before, but you've changed them. Now you have normal mode, which is 60-40 mm -hmm. split, mm -hmm. and you've got gravel, which is 50-50. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That used to be like track mode before, mm -hmm. but now track mode is dynamic yes. from 60-40 to mm -hmm. 70 30. so when i'm driving on track what are the inputs how does the car decide to shift power from front to back basically the one of the weak point of the previous track mode 50 50 fixed is a kind of exiting corner sometimes you may feel some understeer feeling so we make it more adjustable as you explained so to change the torque distribution we are monitoring the G, lateral G combined with longitudinal G, and also vehicle speed or other kind of signal uh, monitoring. Then we determine the, how much torque will be transferred to the rear I to see. avoid any understeer. Right, so th this will help reduce understeer mm -hmm. because I'm 
applying more power to the rear yeah. than the front. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about these suspension changes mm -hmm. here. So can you just quickly summarize the differences between the 25 mm -hmm. and the 24 car? Mm -hmm. After releasing the first GR Corolla, master driver Morizo and uh, development driver Mr. Ishiura uh, requested us to improve the performance of the high-speed cornering, uh, specifically called the Fuji Speedway's 100R corners. So the, our, con our challenging point is the rear side, the inside tires grip level. So at first, we implemented the rebound spring to control the kind of rebound stroke transition. But uh, putting the rebound spring smoothly changing the grip level, the rear inside wheel. So center of gravity is a little bit lower than previous one. So that makes uh, entering corners vehicle stability was improved. The rear spring mm -hmm. is now a two-stage yes. progressive yes. spring. Yeah. So it's a little bit stiffer yeah. also. And you change the rear uh, anti-sway bar a bit yeah. too. Yeah. So what's, what's the purpose yeah. of these changes? to have a good grip level for every tire, especially inside the rear wheel. So we want to move the more flexible. We soften the sway bar ratio, but we want to keep the roll stiffness. So that's why soften and sway, uh, sway bar ratio, but increasing the coil spring ratio to be the same roll stiffness. So it's a little stiffer in the back, a little more rotation. Mm. Okay. The third piece is the trailing arm. Mm -hmm. You move the mounting point up mm -hmm. by 30 millimeters. Mm -hmm. What was the idea behind that? The reason we changed the trailing arm connecting point is uh, to increase the anti-squat ratio. When you are exiting the corner, we want to keep the vehicle posture less pitch so that, so that we can get a good grip on the ramp for you. And the uh, response from the axle pedal. Less, less weight transfer yeah. to the rear, yeah. you're going to reduce understeer, mm, yeah. uh, especially on, on corner exit. So especially combined with the new truck mode, yeah. more truck displacement to the rear, yeah, we need to uh, increase the anti-squat ratio after uh, exiting, uh, exiting the corner. Oh, let me ask you about the, the engine. So mm. we now have 22 pound-feet more mm. of mm. torque. Are there any mechanical changes to mm. the engine? So basically no mechanical change, just to increase the turbo pressure. But, uh, as you know, we put the sub radiator for extra cooling for the increasing the torque. Oh, also the automatic transmission. You now have a, uh, a dedicated cooler mm -hmm. for that too. Mm -hmm. So you've got uh, you've got two coolers. Is that right for the automatic transmission? Yeah. Originally, the heat exchanger between the engine water and the transmission oil uh, we have on in front of the transmission. Then, in addition to that, we put the, some air cooling. Uh, radiator for the DAT oil. So I got one more question that everybody wants to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to ask you this. So some people are saying that they are getting the center transfer case ah, overheating yeah, yeah. on track. Mm -hmm. um, so are there any plans to address this or what's, uh, what's yeah, the position? Yeah, we understand that point. So the, we implemented some air duct under the engine cover to mm -hmm. for more cooling for the transfer case. But uh, we understand customer needs is kind of increasing so still we are working on to improve that car is a lot of fun to drive i'm having a great time driving it here i'm going to try out all these new technologies on track thank you very much for, thank you very much yeah, thank you thank you i will have another video out with my track driving impressions in the next couple days if you want to see that make sure to subscribe see you in the next one